So check this out because it's probably gonna save your motor. You've made it on the DeRosa Driven YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna talk about something that I feel, if you do anything with the LS platform, whether it's daily drive it, race it, drift, whatever your goals are, I feel like this video needs to be out there. You need to see this. There's a few videos out there. I'm not the only one that's made this video, but there's not many. The best video that I saw was a Richard Holdner video, and he explains exactly what happened to him. They don't show a side-by-side -side comparison of this. I traded one of my other personal vehicles for another truck. In that motor, some catastrophic issues. It's due to a $12 part, I'm not even joking. What you're looking at right here is a classic LS style roller lifter. This happens to be an LS7, and they generally work awesome. However, if you have a lifter that looks like this, chances are it's not working too well, and you're gonna notice it. Today we're gonna talk about why this happened. So long story short, you buy a cam kit, it comes complete. And I'm not bashing other companies out there. Some of these companies, I just do not know. So I'm not bashing other companies that carry lifter trays. I want to make that clear. This company, I know for a fact where this tray came from. And I know where this tray came from. <coughs> Michigan Motorsports. Oh, I think I'm getting sick. The goal of the lifter tray, see these flat spots? Your lifter also has flat spots. If you work on LSs, you already know what I'm talking about. The lifter goes in. That flat spot keeps it in line. Perfect, awesome, that's exactly what you want. However, some of these lifter tray companies out there, I don't know where they're getting these from. It looks like they might even 3D print them. I have no idea. They're junk. And this is the main reason why this lifter failed. This lifter is supposed to be retained in place. If you can do that, you have a very bad lifter tray and that motor is gonna fail. As soon as you get up into a little bit of RPM, that lifter's moving up and down. It's going to cause the lifter to spin. Instead of the wheel rolling on the camshaft, it's going to be going the opposite way. You're going to burn the lifter down right on the camshaft. It's going to send metal all through your motor. If you don't shut it off in time, it's going to get to all your bearings, could score up the crank, and you're in for a catastrophic issue. Luckily, this motor was shut down quick enough, but it still, I mean, it still took a little bit to do that but it was shut down quick enough where it didn't ruin everything. This taught us all a good lesson. Be careful where you buy your lifter trays from. What I have in front of me is a General Motors lifter tray. I just took it out of the package. Here's the part number. This is a real legit GM lifter tray. Check out how the lifter fits in this. You can't even do it with one hand. See that? There's no spinning that. It's not gonna happen. Maybe over time where it wears out. This is exactly what you want. That lifter is not falling out. Bad. Good. Just looking at them side by side, you can tell the GM lifter tray is significantly thicker. There's no squeezing that. I mean, I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but that thing's not budging. This thing's junk. So the moral of the story is, if you're building a motor, doing a cam swap, whatever you're doing, don't go with an aftermarket lifter tray. Go with a factory one that you know is proven and it might just save your motor. If you like what you saw here and this video helped you in any way, smash that subscribe button. Be sure to send this out to all of your LS buddies because a lot of guys need to see this. A lot of us are working on budgets, working on junkyard motors. I'd hate for someone that's on a budget to have an issue due to a stupid part like this. So be sure to share this video to any of your friends that are into this stuff. Follow along as I get this S10 back up and run. This thing's pretty damn clean. It came with another six liter that I'm working on installing now. It's got the F body front accessories on it, which is super nice. A few parts for Motion Race Works. It's just gonna be a stock LQ9 that we're gonna take to the track and see what we can pull out of it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.